So here is me in 2013 riding my second Brompton. I have just received my third. Um, and by third, I mean I've had to sold them <laughs> and then receive the third. Um, so I thought I'd make a video about Bromptons and why they are useful and why you should buy one if you're looking for one. But also people can get pretty um, evangelical about Bromptons. So I want to give you like an unbiased kind of review um, and tell you about some of the negatives as well. So you're not disappointed if you do buy one. So this is me um, showing how it folds. I'm not going for any prizes for quickness or anything like that. Just showing you how useful it is. I mean, the design is amazing. Um, the engineering involved is so cool um, and uh, it, it pretty much blows any other folding bike out, out of the water so if you are looking for a folding bike you know you can pretty much stop this video now because this is the best one you can buy um, Bromptons are pretty expensive though so you know that's something to consider um, also folded the knot amazingly light um, particularly the older ones we'll get to that later um, so that's something to consider too um, I bought this on eBay um, and actually I forgot I'd forgotten how to fold them um, so I had to watch a quick YouTube video <laughs> to, to figure it out but the, the system is really easy and you know people can do it in 10 seconds while the, while the trains coming and things like that so um, you know not to worry that it's really complicated the mechanism or anything this um, model is called a H3L and it no longer exists, this model. Um, so basically what you used to have in the Brompton range was S, M, P and H handlebars. I've owned each of those except for a P. P um, stands for pretzel and you'll see a picture of that on the next slide. H is the one that I currently have. The handlebars are quite high and it's for an upright seating position. S is sporty and M is the kind of bog standard Brompton look. This is a P. Um, it's cool, but I, I can't see why. I can see why this was discontinued. It, it, it is cool, but you know, I, I don't see why it would go with this one over the others, to be perfectly honest. Um, the new range is slightly different and it took me a while to, to figure it out and to even realize to be honest because I've, I've been obsessed with Bromptons for a long time whenever I go into a bike shop and kind of look at them um, recently I've been okay well, that's weird they're called A, B, C etc um, and they have renamed the, the whole line but to be honest with you you know I would probably buy a second hand one if I were you because Bromptons are pretty expensive, as I said. Um, so you've got the C line, the P line, and the T line. And, and basically, from what I can gather, um, the C is the equivalent of the, the Brompton in the past. Um, you've got different gears. Um, you can get an electric version. And then the P and the T um, are lighter, kind of... Um, uh, they have more gears and they're geared for more kind of technical considerations as you know so for the T for example you can see that it's less than eight kilograms which is really really light I haven't looked at the prices but I imagine those are very very expensive um, a couple of thousand pounds at least um, then you've got the A and the A is kind of the the bog standard Brompton and this is the, the specifications are less than the one that you see that I have the the HM um, etc and um, there's no folding pedal um, there's no mud guards I think and, and things like that so it's just it's the bike that you can ride um, and fold up um, as I've said I have been obsessed with Bromptons for a long time um, and I think one thing to consider when you're looking at Bromptons is is the environment that you live in appropriate for a Brompton? Um, I originally fell in love with the design and I love the way they look and, and things like that. And I thought, oh, I'll buy one to commute. I live in an environment um, which is not, not mountainous by any means, but my commute is downhill 
towards work and uphill from work. Um, and it's too steep really for, for a Brompton. Um, it's not that it would be impossible, but it wouldn't be the ideal bike for that situation. Um, as again, if you live in an environment which is really off-road or really bumpy, um, you probably are not looking at a Brompton here because um, the way they ride, they do ride um, bumpy. You can pick up all the bumps. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but um, it's, it's something to consider. Um, it's no accident that you see 10 billion Bromptons in London and you see a lot of them on the coast where you can ride near the coast on, on, on you know with a coastal view on a flat um, and you don't see them in other places so this is this is mine as I said it's a H3L it's black you can get various colors um, I, I I love Bromptons as I said I'm really excited about this bike um, and I I think part of me, another thing to consider, and this might just be me, is that you do, you can draw glances when you ride around on a Brompton, particularly in certain environments. Um, so I bought a kind of, this time I kind of bought a bog standard colour and uh, nothing to draw attention to myself, if, if you like. Um, but if you look at, the, look at the bike, the design is just amazing. Um, Everything is so well thought out. You know, the fold of pedal, um, it's really sturdy. Um, this is my, oh, sorry about that, not the mic. This is my um, version of a classic car. <laughs> I'm just gonna love it and polish it and look after it and um, buy accessories for it and, and things like that. And there's loads of those as well, which is something else that's really great about Promptons. Um, these do not ride like an ordinary bike, but they're really they are really fun to ride. I, I went out yesterday um along the coast and it was really fun to, to, to ride the bike, but it does not feel like an ordinary bike. Um the center of gravity is different and it takes a little bit of getting used to um not falling over when you ride as you would a normal bike, because I also have a mountain bike. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And if you're looking for a bike that um, is is about is about riding to get somewhere really really quickly, um, or you're a road cyclist and you you do that kind of cycling, I wouldn't probably recommend Bromptons. I mean, this is a guy, you know, riding up a mountain, you can do those things. But for me, Bromptons really excel when it's, the environment's flat and it's a, a leisurely cycle as opposed to something that's off-road, which they're not appropriate for, or something that's about speed. Um, so I think my idea for my Brompton is I will take it to places um, and use the Brompton to explore those places rather than a road cyclist might say today I'm going to cycle um, 50 miles uh, round trip just for the fun of cycling if, if you like it's more of a, um, more of a, a, a useful way of exploring places if that makes sense um, Bromptons have got a really, really kind of um, enthusiastic fan base, I would say. Um, and, you know, you have forums and you have um, you have actually cycle races every year for, for, for Bromptons. Um, and people can get really evangelical, but I think you could be maybe disappointed if you're expecting certain things from a Brompton. Um, i.e. you know if your commute is really hilly or really off road or if you're looking for the kind of road cycling experience that that's not something that, that that's not what a Brompton's for really um, so I would love to go on a, a trip with a Brompton for example and cycle and take it to a hotel <laughs> it sounds really weird like a romantic thing take it to a hotel every night and and use it as transport, you know, because that, that is the kind of thing that they excel at. 
Um, I'm trying to think of what else to say about the, the Brompton. The, the, as I said, the, the fact that they are folding bikes is really obviously important. But if you live in a, a small flat or apartment or you want to store it under your desk at work or if you want to cycle one way and then get the bus the other way, these bikes are absolutely perfect for that and they're so ingenious. I mean, this is a watch channel primarily. These are the Rolex of bikes. They're, they're so well designed. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Um, and they're expensive despite the fact that there's a lot of them around, um, which shows you that it's just a quality product, really. Um, so, in terms of some of the kind of more negative things about about Brompton's as I said um, some of the things I've already mentioned are that you know they do pick up the bumps and things like that if you're in an environment which is really really hilly um, or really really off-road these are probably not for you um, this article I came across this article yesterday um, the cyclist who puts function over style you know the, 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 this is basically trying to say that people who ride Bromptons are holier than now um, and they're like, okay, well, I have a Brompton, I, I'm saving the planet by riding. But, you know, it's ridiculous. This the cyclist who puts function over style. These bikes are amazingly stylish. I mean, <laughs> maybe that's just me, but I think they're amazing. Um, and the design is so good. Um, and the function's good, so it's function and style, but, you know, <laughs> what do I know? So I actually found, oh, another really good thing about Bromptons is the accessories. Um, so this is a Brooks saddle. This is one of the first things that I'm gonna pick up. Um, oh, it's, it's just beautiful. I, I just love uh, Brooks saddles. I just think they're so cool. Um, you know, so kind of retro, obviously. Like, um, but you also got bags and rear racks and lights and you know all sorts of things like that. This is me from 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 yesterday um, along the coast. But yeah, I looked on a Reddit forum. What are the things you don't like? Um, they don't go as quick as road bikes. That's one thing to consider. Um, for example, yesterday I was in a coastal area and it was pretty windy. And a lot of the time, I never got into into third gear, the the the, the hardest gear. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not a technical person, so I don't really know whether it's third or first gear or whatever. Um, so that's something to consider. I, I, I want I wanted something that had a leisurely bike ride. It's not about getting there quickly, it's about looking around and experiencing the environment. That's what Bromptons really excel at. Um if you're looking for, as I said, that road bike experience, you're not gonna get it with this. Um another thing is the the center of gravity. Um at one point I braked yesterday and the, the bike the back of the bike kind of left the floor, so that's something to consider as well. Um, I tend to ride in a, in a relatively um, um, casual way, so like with one hand, not on the handlebars and things like that. It's more difficult to do that on a Brompton um, because of the center of gravity. Um, uh, people are talking about the price on this forum that I'm looking at. Um, you can't roll them when folded unless you buy aftermarket add-ons they're also pretty heavy so that's something to consider some of them are not so the new range you can you can get a titanium version you can get a carbon version which is less than 8k 8 kilograms um but to be honest with you it's not that heavy um if you get an electric one which i would love to try but they are about three thousand pounds and you can buy a car for that price i, I imagine they're worth it but you know three grand's a lot of money for a bike um the gears this person's saying limited gearing selection but to be honest that that's not the case now because the other models you can get 12 gears and and things like that um people are talking about twitchy riding uh, the riding experience is a brompton on a brompton sorry is different to an ordinary bike but it's it's just so fun i love riding them um, but it, it might take a bit of getting used to, and I, I have a mountain bike and the Brompton, and I'm going to keep both, um, and I think that's the kind of best combination. If you want to go for an off-road cycle, a Brompton is not for you. If you want to ride along a coastal path and take in the views, 
um, and just live your best life <laughs> um, than a Brompton is. And you know, I, I, I absolutely love them, so I would really recommend them. Um, parts are expensive. I've never experienced that personally. Um, I imagine they would be. So, for example, um, you can buy a rear rack for a Brompton. Um, I looked up how much that would cost, and that's one two five one hundred and twenty five pounds. For me, that's fine to be perfectly honest. Um, but you know, some of some of the parts. I mean, the gears, for example, are very plasticky. Um, they work. They, they they don't feel amazingly high quality. That's fine for me, but you know, some people might quibble about that. Um, some people are complaining about the riding position. I wouldn't mind the straighter, more right riding position. To be honest with you, that seems like a daft comment because you can get different riding positions on Bromptons. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, that's it really. Uh, one thing I would say as well, if you're a big person um if you see what i mean um then bromptons you might find a brompton more difficult both um kind of aesthetically but also i imagine they might be more difficult to ride if you're bigger um and by bigger i don't mean taller i'm sure you know what i mean um but having said that you know i've seen bigger bigger gentlemen and ladies riding bromptons absolutely fine um yeah, so so just my quick run through of of Bromptons, as you can probably guess, I'm obsessed with Bromptons. Um, I've always wanted to buy another one, um, and I always haven't because I've thought maybe I'll just sell it or or whatever. But as an as an item, they are so well designed. They are the beautiful. I love them, and. You know, I got to the stage where if I was on holiday and people drove past on a Brompton, rode past on a Brompton, I'd be like, there's a Brompton, there's a Brompton. Um, so I'm going to keep this one forever. Um, it's like, I think they do that to people. Like my mountain bike, it's a, it's a mountain bike, but my Brompton is like my new best friend. <laughs> I love it. Um, and, you know, for what they do well there is not a product in the world that does it better you know you, you're commuting in a flat environment or you want to ride leisurely um around on a flat environment and use the brompton as transport um and if you want to stow it in a tight environment they're an absolute masterpiece of of, of design um you know for example i love it in the south of france you could take a brompton to the south of france ride along the coast fold it up, go into a cafe, have a coffee or a beer, unfold it, carry on on your journey. And that is the the, the majesty, if you like, of, of, of Bromptons. There are some some cons to these bikes, um, and that's important to note, but the, the cons are often based on people expecting them to do things that they don't or that they should not be used for or you know, things like that. If you have any other questions, hit me in the comments. Um, I'm not an expert on the bike. I mean, like questions on my opinion on, on, on Bromptons. I'm not a technical person by any means. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. And thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.